Hello everyone, and welcome to another Scott Smitty Let's Play. I know it's been a long, long time since I've done one of these, but I found this game, and it really makes me want to do one. Um, so this is called The Stanley Parable, and it was first brought to my attention by uh, Steam Train, the show on YouTube, with uh, Danny and Ross played it, the demo, and it looked really kind of interesting and cool, so I had some PayPal credit, so I decided to give it a try, and it's so unusual and odd, I just, I just want to show people. So, uh, <coughs> the only backstory in the game you need is that we are an office worker named Stanley, whose job was to simply push buttons on this computer, and we were happy doing our monotonous, boring job, just push buttons on this computer, but then the computer would tell us which buttons to press, and we would press them, and then life was good, but then the numbers stopped. And we, we got up to see the building is deserted. And as you're going to hear the narrator, the narrator is really our only companion on this journey. And it's all this game's all about choice. So while I've messed around with this game a little bit, I haven't completely messed around with it. So hopefully it still should be, a lot should be new to me. But let's uh, get started here. Stuck on the doorway, there we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, also, uh, the game loads sometimes, and I think that might stop my recording, so there might be a bunch of little episodes here. But, see, everything's deserted, and it's really spooky. It's really kind of a spooky game. Okay, 416, can't open the door yet. Nope. Uh, here we go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. See, so... Here's where the idea of the game is, is you can either listen to the narrator or not, and the story, or the game, I should say, progresses on how you do it. I'm going to listen to the narrator right now. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Tips for not Feeling getting fired. Don't disbelief, get fired. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manage. This game also has a fun sense of humor. That's what attract get Chris out of broom closet. This game also has a, has a, a a fun sense of humor. So a very British sense of humor that is kind of in Portal. So like here you can go into the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. But there's stuff here. Look, there's duct tape. And wrenches. There was nothing huh? here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Okay, so clearly the narrator wants me to get out of here, so I will. All right. Now I can either go up or down. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um, I'm gonna go up. I know what happens when you go down. I don't think there's a branch there, but there might be. Can I go in this door? Nope. I think going up and then continuing that way is where I get to where I my territory. Ooh, another door over here. Can I open it? No, locked door. Okay, here's the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Nope. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated uh, this, what dark secret was being held from him. Uh, what he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been oh. keeping from him. Keypad. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. And again, that's a little bit of the humor I was talking about. Yet incredibly, by <laughs> simply pushing random buttons incredibly. on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Spooky. Oh, well, giant red button. We push. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh. 
Oh, it seems like uh, I'm still going while it's loading, so good. Um, yeah, so now we're descending. And I know what's going on so far, but we're going to get into areas where I have no idea where it's going on. This game's really surreal. So this is loading. Loading. Normally it doesn't take this long to load, so I wonder if my software is actually... Descending deeper oh. into the building, Shh. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Hmm. This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. See, at first I went here, but that led to my death, and I think it might be the only death in the game, so that's a no-go. That's a no-go. We're gonna go here. And hit the big light bulb button. Boop. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Damn straight I do. Dun, dun, dun. This game reminds me a lot of Portal. Which is why another reason I wanted to check out. Little monitors with lamps. Oh, there's the, the camera button. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. They're me. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom and That looks like someone's red screening. Up, oh, yep, this way. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, almost. Can I die that way? I don't know if I can, but... Okay. What does this button do? People? Person? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all oh, this someone time? was fired. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay. I'm a little scared. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Yeah. Wasn't it? Was it Maybe. even possible? Where am I Had going? He truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Um. I don't know. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and it's commanded offline. from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided eh. that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Um. For he would dismantle the controls once oh, and Oh, there's a big five all. button. I'm gonna press it. Boop. Did it, did it do anything? Oh, there's buttons over there. I'm gonna go press them. See, so yeah, obviously they want you to go in there, but I wanna, I wanna. I see a big shiny buttons. I'm gonna go press big shiny buttons. Oh, and there's a door over here. Can I get to it? Nope. Door locked. Of course. Let's press one. Boop. Boop. Two. What's up the stairs? Dum, bum, 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 bum. Up the stairs I go. Let's see where we're going. I've never been up here, so now we're officially in territory where I have no idea. Ah, uh, that's four. Where's the three button? Where's the three button? I want to... I want to see what these buttons do. That's where I came from, right? Yeah, that's where I came from. That's one, two... Oh, what's this one? Console disabled. Okay. Oh, there's one over there. That's five. And now up there's four. Where's three? 
Okay, maybe this isn't ex as exciting as I thought, but it's such a weird game. Is there no three? Is that going to be part of it? Oh, there's three. Boop. Now we're going to go to four. Doop boop boo. I bet this does nothing, and I'm just like wasting time. <laughs> Four. And now the tantalizing five button. So this game's all about choice and, and the nature of you basically can do what you want. Like going around pressing buttons. Like I'm doing. Now we press five. Let's see. Here we go. happening what the hell well that sucks whatever oh blue screened I didn't know mind controls ran on DOS and when at last he found the source of the room's power he knew it was his duty his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. I could turn it off. I'm gonna turn it on. <sighs> oh, Stan me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Um, yes. Oh, Stan me. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going oh. to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Oh dear. Eliminating the entire complex. Oh dear. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Um. It's your time to shine. You um, are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Uh -huh. What precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all uh, this means. Buttons? I barely know where to start. Crap. What's um. That? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good two. mood. Two. Okay, two. Die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. What? Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. Uh -huh. Burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Three. I almost hate Three. to see it go. Uh. I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. No. My uh. goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? What? Precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, what? Dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? I... Is it that you have no idea uh... where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right yes! now? Yes! Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Oh. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One, solved? 
Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stand me. Fail save! You're in for quite a disappointment. Uh. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Oh my gosh! Humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. But I, I don't Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 what? seconds until a big boom and then nothing. What? I don't <laughs> Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All oh, apart wait, of the joke. Hold on. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we Oh my gosh. In. I can't believe I didn't think about this. I say, happily ever up. No! Oh my god! Oh my god. Um. Okay, I died. Okay, I died. Um, well, that's the Stanley Parable. I could have shut off the machine, but instead I went to try to, you know, press the on button, and now I'm dead. This is, um, um, yeah. So, uh... I believe that's it. I died. Well... Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Oh, time. You... You jerk. You know exactly what you're doing. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, but we're going to keep going with the Stanley Parable, and uh, hopefully I won't die in this next playthrough. And you'll see, there's a lot of different choices here we can do. So, uh, see you guys.